Hi, Pipe Smokers. This is Paul Gilson, a.k.a. Paul the Pipe Guy. And this is our Sunday Night Smoke. Yeah. It's currently 8.07, seven minutes after the hour. In the outskirts of the Rochester, New York area. Yeah. And it is dark outside. Yeah. Uh, so this uh, video is dedicated to my daughter, Bianca, my favorite redhead who is 19 years old today. Yeah. Happy birthday, Bianca. I love you. You're my favorite redhead. She got to come over. I got to see her. I got to see my youngest son, Paulie Jr., who is going to be uh, 18 years old in four days. So they're Irish twins, as my wife puts it. Uh, they're one year and four days apart. Yeah. Happy birthday, boo. <laughs> this video is dated for you, dedicated to you. So uh, it's Sunday, two six of two thousand twenty-two, and um, it's currently twenty-five degrees outside. Yeah. Uh, when I got up this morning, uh, it was minus two, according to the outside temperature gauge that I bought, thermometer, minus two degrees Fahrenheit. The truck did not want to start, so I had to do what I had to do with a diesel to get that going. Um, it got up to about 40 degrees today in upstate New York, and uh, I don't know, you know, tomorrow is supposed to be a uh, low of... Uh, about 17 when I wake up and then uh, it's going to kind of joggle and be 40 degrees one afternoon and 30 degrees yeah, it's all over the place but it's getting warmer thank the Lord and the days are getting longer so yeah so for our Sunday evening smoke yeah alright what we have uh, is a Hilson Vintage Hilson, H-I-L-S-O-N, bent with a uh, 9 millimeter. It's 9 millimeter. It's a bowl 018 made out of briar, and it's gorgeous. Oh, yeah. It's a Hilson moon dial. Okay. And in it, we have, I just opened up a fresh tin of pirate cake. It doesn't get any fresher than that. I just snapped the top right off that tin. All right. It was uh, packaged on 7-6 of 2021. Okay. I love pirate cake, as you all know. So, let's light it up. Yeah. Let's start something on fire. Here we go. I love it. Pirate cake, according to what I found, is about 75% Latakia slash Latakia, however you want to pronounce it. And the rest is made up of Oriental slash Turkish and Burley. And I love it. That's a fresh batch. Really didn't even have to do a char light. I'm going to tamper down just a little bit. Look at that gorgeous Hilson. The briar on it is absolutely beautiful. We're going to let that rest for a second. Uh, not that it's getting hot, but... So if the background, uh, what you can see in my living room, 
slash man cave looks a little disheveled, it's because it is. Today was spent uh, a day of relaxation, and it's Sunday, it's the Lord's Day. It was beautiful today. When I got up, like I said, I got up around 7 o'clock and kind of stayed in bed till around 8.30 a.m. You know, my day of rest. The Lord even, even the Lord had to rest on the seventh day. Why shouldn't I be able to? But I didn't want to sleep and waste the whole day away. Went out to start the truck and it went. So I charged the batteries up on it, both of them. Diesels, hey, never mind. Anybody that knows about diesels and minus two degree weather, even if you have an engine block heater and all the chemicals that you should have, and them sometimes it just doesn't work. So, waited till it was warmer, had both batteries charged up to 100% with my trickle charger, waited till about 2 o'clock, went out, and she fired up like a brand new truck. Yeah! So, for those of you, and by the way, I am sober. I haven't been sober in some of the videos I've done. I don't know. It is what it is. That's in the past. You can only move forward, and I'm not going to apologize for it. At some point in time, when the Lord calls me home, my YouTube channel will be a testament to my kids to see how God has changed my life, how my Maker has changed my life throughout the layers of time. And it will be on the Internet forever. And I hope to have a long life. I'm 57, but it'd be nice to make 100, but, you know, who knows? Anyways, for all of those who have friendly, who have lovingly busted my chops on bush beer, one guy says, never trust a guy's uh, tobacco review who drinks bush beer. Um... <laughs> My good mentor, the pipe smoker, says it seems to be a like a New York guy type of thing. <laughs> well, all right. So this one's an empty one. And what we have, yes, we have two beers set up. Okay. The first one, and I had to put a little thought in this. <laughs> the first one is from Holland. Yeah, it's a great beer made by Buckler, B-U-C-K-L-E-R. It's imported from Holland. Uh, and it's premium quality, yeah, Buckler, right from Holland, yeah. It doesn't say if it's a pale ale or what. It's 12 fluid ounces, I don't know. So, cheers, everyone. Yeah, Holland. This is made in Holland. It's great beer. Cheers. Ah. Uh, oh. This is such a full-bodied taste. I don't know whether it's an ale or what. But it's made in Holland, so it's got to be good. The problem is, is you folks in the UK especially Ireland. Uh, I, 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 here, the United States, they make us pasteurize everything, which means that you take the beer up to a heating process that supposedly gets rid of any bacteria. Even apple cider, we have to pasteurize that. Our milk is pasteurized. It's taken up to a temperature that kills bacteria. The difference being is that in the UK and European countries, and I know this because my parents went to Ireland, the beer in Ireland, and it may be in Germany and the rest of you know Europe, it's unpasteurized. When you heat something up that is made from good things, it ruins the goodness in it. Yeah, it might kill some bacteria that the United States food and drug administration thinks might be bad. I mean, come on. 
They've gone too far. It takes all the goodness out of it. Apple cider, same thing, pasteurized, heated up. It kills everything in it. I remember being a child, not a child, but a young teenager. We used to go to a farmer's place because my parents didn't want to have pasteurized milk. And it might have been legal or maybe not, but we used to go to the farmer and buy one gallon glass jugs, which is unheard of, right from the farmer, unpasteurized, the cream hadn't been taken, it was right from the cow. And you would set that gallon jar in the refrigerator and the cream would separate to the top. And you could take the cream and actually churn it and churn it and churn it and make butter out of it. Although, as kids, what we would do, I mean, that's kind of a good fat. My mom would just kind of shake it up, or we would, and pour it on her cereal. Unpasteurized, very healthy. So, cheers. Oh, and by the way, this buckler imported from Holland beer is non-alcoholic. <laughs> See that? Non-alcoholic. When it says non-alcoholic, it means that it only has one half of a percent of alcohol in it, which Bush beer is between, I, I don't know, 4.2 percent and 4.5 percent. It's piss water. It's, it's panther piss. It, it sucks. Yeah. So, this is great. My kids were coming over. I wanted a beer this afternoon, but I wanted to be stone sober to celebrate their birthdays here in my home. My living room is disheveled because I'm getting things in line where I want them to be and I'm rearranging things and so forth. It looks like a bomb hit in here, but it won't. It'll all be worth it. I've done like six loads of laundry and gotten old clothes. It doesn't matter. We're moving forward. So cheers. Yeah. I'll be right back. And then we're going to light this pipe up again. Okay, so we're back. Yeah. <sighs> Life is good. Today was a beautiful sunny day. I had the curtains open, the sun was shining in the house, I did a lot of cleaning, my son came over, we spent some time together, oh, my son Pauly Jr., I love him, he's six foot five, six foot five and wears a size 14 shoe, he eclipses me, I used to be uh, six foot, I still might be, I, I don't know. I'm 57 years old. Sometimes you shrink a little bit when you get older. So let's light this wonderful Hilson up with a brand new batch of pirate cake in it. I'm not even going to tell you what's in it. Well, no. Maybe I did tell you already. 75% Latakia and uh, Turkish slash Oriental and uh, Burleys. It's good stuff and it's fresh. I'll tell you though, um, this thermometer I bought, it's an indoor outdoor thermometer and I have it sitting up and I didn't realize it, but the relative humidity in my house, because it's so cold and dry out, is only 20%. 20% relative humidity. That is bone dry. So I had to take all my guitars and I had, well, the, I won't get into it, but there's a thing that goes in the guitar that you put distilled water and and it rehydrates your, the wood in the guitars, which they're still fine, thank God. Um, I didn't realize it was so dry in here. My skin was like, I don't know, just everything was drying up. And that happens here in upstate New York when it gets really cold, it gets really, really dry. So, let's light this Hilson up with some pirate cake in it again. Mm. Uh, 
Um, so what I do for enjoyment, besides spending time with my kids, which my daughter Bianca came over for a little bit and my son Pauly Jr. came over for a little bit. What a great day. My son Pauly and I went shopping at Walmart. We bought some things that my daughter would really enjoy. A lot of planning went into that and he helped me. He says she always steals my soft flannel PJ bottoms. So I bought her a couple sets of those and I, some other things. She really appreciated it. Mm. Oh, the Silson is so good. So I found um, that there was things that I wanted to change about my life, which we've talked about. Some of the things I really like to do is I love to go to garage sales and barn sales. I love to go to the Goodwill, which is the Goodwill, if you're not from the United States, you might not know what it is, but it's a thrift store. So normally what happens when somebody has something they don't want anymore they donate it to this organization, which I won't even touch on that, but yeah, they say that they do good because of the goodwill. Maybe they did it one time, but I looked at their profit and loss statement, uh, which has to be public if you're a nonprofit organization, and I was not impressed, but I still like to go there. I made some good scores there because if you know what you're looking for at a garage sale or a barn sale or an auction or a thrift store, you can really, really make some good scores. And one of the scores that I made a few years ago, uh, this picture uh, is from 1954. July it was gifted to somebody named uh, I think Renee and Bob on 7 which would be July of 1954 I see the date on the back it's a devotion to the sacred heart began on the 16th blah 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 so anyways it's Catholic but it is dated 7 of 1954 that's the back of it. And some of you might know this guy right here. Yeah. And he's the one that I've been asking, hey, what do you want me to do next? Hey, what do you want me to do next? I scored this for $2.99. It's priceless to me for what it represents in my life. And yeah. That's Jesus. Yeah. Priceless. Yeah. That's one of my score finds, all right? So, if you knock on the door, it says in the good book that he's going to answer the door, if you believe. Let's get to our next beer which is not non-alcoholic. So anybody that has broken my chops, which means funningly teasing me, anybody in the United States understands what breaking somebody's chops are. And usually you break somebody's chops. If you like them, you kind of friend, you know, you tease them in a friendly way. So I've gotten a lot of flack about this bush beer so, our next beer that we have, and we have the good stuff. This is made in Deutschland, which is Germany. 
It's called Spaten, which I believe I pronounced it right. S-P-A-T-E-N. And it is, hold on one second, it's a premium Lager beer. 5.2% alcohol content, where that piss water is like 4.2 bush beer. And this is a premium Lager. It is imported from Munich, Germany. Yeah. And it's in a green bottle. Yeah. That protects it from the sun. Although, I'm not a true beer connoisseur. I understand that brown bottles protect beer from the sun better than green bottles. I could be wrong. I don't know. So let's try that. Let's smell the bouquet. Yeah. Spaten or Spaten and whatever. It's made in Germany. Yeah. And it's a premium Lager. And it's a real beer. So, here we go. Cheers. Ooh. That's good. I have to take another little sip. Mmm, very good. Lager, yeah. Made in Germany, but it's pasteurized before they can send it to the U.S. So, I'm sure if I went to Germany and had the same beer, it would taste much, much different. This is good. I'm going to set it aside here. I'm going to light up our moon lighter. So, Uh, In my past, I might be a welder now, but in my past, I had a job in banking. had a couple different things I did. Banking, finance, mortgages, insurance for many years. I made some pretty good money doing that. I do okay now being a welder, but kind of got burnt out on that whole bit and when I was raising a lot of children you know needed that large income of which I invested in them I really haven't been able to save much which doesn't matter money is only money health happiness and a belief in the one above and if your kids and grandkids are healthy and happy and you have food in your house and you have heat and light and a roof over your head, That's those are the important things in life. And, of course, good tobacco. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. This is so good. One of the things that I recently scored at this Goodwill, I do know men's clothing because having a background in finance and, you know, I'm 57, so I got into, I mean, well, all through church and stuff, we wore our Sunday best and so forth and polished our shoes. People don't do that much anymore, but I did, and... I appreciate good clothes because I want to feel good about myself. Not that I'm not, it's not pride, but when you spend the time to polish your shoes, a good pair of shoes or whatever you have, excuse me, and you put on nice clothes, it, it, it makes you feel good about yourself. Uh, some people are very prideful about that and they'll be like, Oh, I have a $10,000 Adrian Jules uh, custom-made suit with Italian this and blah, blah, blah. Or I have a $20,000, and there is $20,000 Nike shoes, sneakers. Who cares about any of that stuff? But I did, I was really, I'm really happy about my last score at the Goodwill. 
I'm a classical type of guy. So I like double-breasted suits. I like them made out of good material. Uh, I like to have my pants have a cuff on them with a certain break on the bottom. Where those of you who know men's clothes know what I'm talking about. I like to have a 100% cotton shirt that I have to iron and spray starch on it. I double starch the collars. There's a lot of time spent into that stuff. Now everything is just like whatever. So I like that classic, classic look. The score I came upon was... <laughs> Hmm. A Canali, C A N A L I, made in Italy, made out of 120 wool. They have 110 wool and 120 wool in their line. It's a jacket, a sports jacket, and it's double breasted. This, this particular one is double breasted, and I like the color of it. And actually, it. Uh, fits me very well um it's not blousey i may need to move this button over a little bit which a tailor would do but it has a classic look it's silk lined i'm not bragging about anything that none of that matters so everything is all silk lined and it's 100 percent italian wool made custom made and made in italy And I took it off the rack and I tried it on and I was like, whoa, man, I love this. Because I love double-breasted classical suits. I like that old-school, traditional look. I don't like the young guy look, you know, where you have one button and everything is tight. Your pants are tight. Because I'm not a young man anymore. I'm not old. But I'm not young either. But I have my certain taste. I like my white shirt when I extend my... When I have just a rested arm, I like my white shirt to extend out about a quarter of an inch below the suit. It, I won't get into all of that stuff. But I've worn a lot of nice clothes in the past. I was blessed with this find. When I found this on the rack, I Googled it and I found it. Brand new, made in Italy, just the jacket. Five hundred and seventy-five United States dollars. That's a lot of money. That's more than what a lot of people make in one week. And guess what I paid for it? Six dollars and ninety-nine cents. That's about a nine hundred percent discount. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. And I'm just so pleased and happy with it. Yeah. So, we're coming up on 30 minutes. It's 28 minutes and 34 seconds. I really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I am blessed. You can find a lot of stuff. You know, this particular picture right here. Goodwill. That is the New York uh, Trade Center. I looked at it at Goodwill and I was like, oh my gosh. that That's a real photograph. I took the back off of it. It was two. It was a dollar ninety nine. The sticker's still on it. I took the back off. It's written. It was taken with a panoramic Kodak film camera. One day before nine eleven, when the terrorists knocked those two towers down, plus another uh, couple of buildings at the World Trade Center in New York City. And this was taken from someone's yacht one day before it happened. This, this is an archaeological find. It's not printed. It's film. It's Kodak film. Yeah. That's the kind of stuff, if you know what you're looking for. If I put that on the Internet, I don't know. Who knows how much money I can. It doesn't matter. It's not for sale. Anyways, we're coming up on 30 minutes, and uh, 
I still have some things to do this evening. God bless you and everyone, and I appreciate everyone who uh, tunes into my channel and and watches. And yeah, so that's our Sunday night smoke. We still have a lot of stuff going on. Lots of tobacco reviews and pipe reviews. The pipe smoker, I still have that Rat Ray, which I haven't smoked yet. I want to do, I, I'm not going to smoke it until, well, we won't even go there. So anyways, with our Spaten or Spaten, I would think Germany, it, it's Spaten. So, in Deutschland, wie geht's? which means how you're doing. And auf Wiedersehen, which means farewell. I'm Paul the Pipe Guy. Well and alive and thankful. God bless you all. Over and out.